Looking for the best things to do in Byron Bay? Here's 15 things you can't miss out on. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke with Travel here, or welcome back to the channel. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite places in Australia, and indeed the world, Byron Bay. This little hippie surfer town in the northern New South Wales coast is packed full of epic things to see and do. So if you're planning a trip to the bay soon, here's 15 activities you can't miss out on. First up is the famous lighthouse walk to the most easterly point of mainland Australia. Now if you set off on foot from the main part of the town and walk along the beach through Clarks up to the pass, then cut across the headland to Watergoes and then up the coastal path to the lighthouse itself. Uh, the trip up to the lighthouse will take you about an hour at a leisurely pace, but take longer, stop off along the way, enjoy some swims, the scenic lookouts as well. It's definitely worth doing. Uh, extra bonus points if you head up there for sunset or sunrise. It's the first place in mainland Australia to get the sunrise every day, so it's a beautiful sunrise vibe there. And the sunsets across the bay are epic too. Uh, if you don't want to walk up to there, you can also drive up and park up at the car parks there, but the lighthouse walk is the best way to see it. Next up is scuba diving. Now Byron Bay is famous for one of the best scuba diving sites in Australia, Julian Rocks. Now this national marine park sits where two currents meet and has an abundance of marine life all year round. In the winter season it's grey nurse shark season and these gentle giants are epic to swim alongside. And during the summer months things like manta rays, turtles and even leopard sharks make an appearance. So it's definitely one for all you scuba divers out there. Uh, if you don't want to dive there, you can also do a snorkel tour right there. There's plenty of turtles, wobble gong sharks, and heaps of fish around uh, to keep you all occupied. Um, and if you want to do an intro dive or even a full dive course, the crew at Byron Bay Dive Centre will sort you out. Now, if you're heading to Byron Bay between the months of May and November each year, you'll be lucky enough to head there in time for the annual whale migration. I know these humpback whales migrate up the coast from Antarctica to their feeding ground and there's an epic spot to see them from Byron Bay. Uh, whether you do the lighthouse walk and just check them out from the headland or the lighthouse viewpoint or head out on a dedicated whale watching tour as well. So yeah, May through to November, whale watching season, definitely one to do. And of course you can't head to Byron Bay without surfing. It's one of the most famous surf towns in the whole of Australia. And whether you're looking to learn to surf or you're an experienced surfer, there's waves here to suit. Uh, if you are looking to learn to surf, um, I recommend the crew at Style Surf. They do some awesome lessons right in the bay. Um, and for experienced surfers, you've got heaps of amazing surf spots around, including the Wreck, Main Beach, the Pass, Talos, and further down the coastline to spots like Broken Head as well. So yeah, grab a board and I'll see you in the lineup. Want a bit more adrenaline for your day out in Byron Bay? Well, how about a skydive? The crew at Skydive Australia will sort you out with a jump of up to 15,000 foot. Uh, you get amazing views across the coastline, the lighthouse and all the beaches. And it's definitely one for your adrenaline junkies out there. Time to kick back and enjoy a slower pace of life now. Fire up one of the awesome beach barbecues around the Byron Bay area uh, and get grilling. Uh, there's some awesome ones at Watergoes, which are right on the beachfront, have awesome views. They're definitely my favorite, but there's a couple around Main Beach and Clarks as well. So yeah, grab a crew of friends, grab some beers, get some stuff on the barbie and enjoy a nice feast. Now it's time to indulge the foodie in you and head out on an epic brunch date. Now, Byron Bay is famous for its huge array of cafes and they cater for all dietary requirements and styles. Uh, so spots like the Rocks Cafe, Aquarius Hostel, Fresh Cafe, Mocha or Topshop are great spots to head for an awesome brunch day. So yeah, get your smashed avo on, maybe some poached eggs or even a Buddha bowl, but there's plenty of food options for everyone. And talking of food, make sure you head to the Treehouse on Belongel for a bite to eat. It's one of my personal favourite venues in Byron Bay. They serve up some epic wood-fired pizzas that are great to share or indulge yourself. I uh, think good vibes, live music and amazing food. Uh, the warm olives for a start are also one of my personal recommendations, so make sure you check them out. Now if you don't have the energy to do the lighthouse walk for sunset, make sure you head to the wreck for sunset beers. 
Uh, during the summer months, there's usually a busking crew going on here, so there's awesome drum circle and uh, musical vibes going on. Uh, if not, it's just a great way to watch the sunset, finish off the day, check out the surf and enjoy a nice cold beer. So yeah, head to the rec car park for that. There's beautiful views and it's a great way to finish the day. And of course, if you're lucky enough to be here over a weekend or the right time of year, the Byron Bay markets are definitely one to check out. Uh, stroll around and sample loads of awesome local food, pick up some trinkets and some gifts for your friends and families back home. I've left a link in the description below to the full market guide, um, which gives you all the dates and times, but make sure you go check them out. Now the music scene in Byron Bay is pretty bustling and festivals like Blues Fest and Splendor in the Grass both started in the bay. And the music scene is still super strong and there's loads of live gigs all around town throughout the year. However, the busking scene is one of the biggest attractions of Byron Bay as well. There's spots all around the corners of the streets throughout town and of course right opposite the beach hotel on that bit of grass overlooking the ocean. So make sure you go check them out. Now one of the best ways to see the coastline of Byron Bay is on one of the kayaking tours. Now the crew of Cape Byron Kayaks will take you out on an awesome morning or afternoon kayaking tour. Uh, you'll start off at Main Beach, head across to the pass and around to Wadagos with awesome views of the coastline and of course the lighthouse too. Uh, if you're here during whale watching season it's a great way to get up close and personal to those gentle giants. But the resident pods of dolphins are here year round and it's a great way to see them too. So yeah, dolphin kayaking was one of the great ways to spend your day. And what better way to spend an afternoon in Byron Bay than enjoying a cold beer or a cocktail? Now, whether you're looking for chilled beers with your friends at somewhere like Aquarius Hostel, which serves up some of the cheapest beers in town, or you want to go out all fancy on a night out with, the, say, the loft or the balcony for some cocktails, Byron Bay has plenty of venues to suit. So yeah, get all dressed up, head out for a cold one. And of course, if you want to deck yourself out in full Byron Bay gear, there are plenty of awesome stores around town so you can shop till you drop. Whether you're looking for some boutique clothing at the likes of Spell or want to kit yourself out with the latest surf gear at Boards in the Bay, there's plenty of shops to keep you busy. And of course, one of the best things about Byron Bay is the beaches. Um, and you can't spend any time in the bay without soaking up the sun on one of the awesome stretches of sand. So whether you're gonna chill at Main Beach, surf at the pass, go around to Wadagos, or even round to Tallows or even Broken Head, there's plenty of awesome stretches of beach for you to check out. Now, if you are looking for the perfect slice of sand to chill out on for the day, check out the link in the description below for my full Byron Bay beach guide. And there you have it, guys. That's my 15 best things to do in Byron Bay. And now if you are heading to Byron and want to book any of the tours that I mentioned, such as scuba diving, skydiving, dolphin kayaking, or surf lessons, make sure you check out the crew from RTW Backpackers and they'll hook you up with some awesome discounts. Um, and if you do want to learn anything more about Byron Bay, such as the surf spots or the beach guides, the links are in the description below. That's it for this week, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next week.